Hey everyone, welcome back to Guide Me Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to delete unallocated partitions in Windows 10 or 11, and more importantly, how to add that unallocated space to one of your drives, like the C or D drive. Let's start by opening Disk Management. To do that, I'll right-click on the Start menu and choose Disk Management. If you don't see it there, you can press Windows plus R on your keyboard, type in diskmgmt.msc, and press Enter. That'll open it directly. Once we're inside Disk Management, you'll see a visual layout of your disk at the bottom. On my system, I have one main disk with several sections. First, there's a small partition labeled System Reserved. That's created by Windows and helps your system boot, so we leave that alone. Right next to it, there's the C drive, which has around 116 gigabytes and contains my Windows installation. After that, there's a tiny section labeled Healthy Recovery Partition. This is used for restoring Windows if something goes wrong, so again, we don't touch that either. Next, I see my D drive, which has about 101 gigabytes. I use this one for storing files and other data. And finally, right next to the D drive, there's an area labeled Unallocated, which is around 20 gigabytes of free space that's currently not being used by any partition. Since the unallocated space is directly next to the D drive, I'm going to add it there. To do that, I'll right-click on the D drive and select Extend Volume. The wizard pops up, I click Next, make sure the unallocated space is selected, then click Finish. And just like that, the D drive now has more space, and that unallocated section is gone. By the way, if your C drive is getting full and you're looking for a way to add space to it, I already have a full video on my channel showing how to extend the C drive safely. The link to that is in the description below, so be sure to check it out. If this video helped you out, give it a like, subscribe to Guide Me Tutorials for more simple tech tips, and let me know in the comments if there's another disk or partition issue you'd like me to cover next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.